Concerned to me, Pete, what's up? It's me, John D. Villarreal. Okay, I want to talk to you about another one of Boeing's new planes, the 787. This thing, I'm super excited for, okay? And, uh, you know, flying's not my favorite thing, personally, I do a lot of it, but, well, first of all, this is all my personal opinion, not alleging any fast casting aspersions, all for entertainment purposes, only check the disclaimers. But this is the kind of, I do a lot of it, and this is the kind of thing where it can really take flying to the next level and make it like totally cool even for people that don't maybe even like it. And for those that have to do it a lot, this could make it like that much cooler. What am I talking about? This thing, this new plane has all kinds of awesome brand new technology and all came together. I mean, I'm talking from top to bottom, okay? So step one. For the pilots, the electronics, stuff like that, you have all the state-of-the-art stuff, all the stuff and the goodies that the pilots like for like the 777s, and or that might be options or upgrades. Where boom, they put this, they put uh, uh, most of it, or maybe all of it, I think, a lot of it, standard in the 787. You got this thing fly-by-wire. You got all the cool electronics, everything like that. That's number one. Number two. This thing is very, very fuel efficient. They've got all kinds of new engines and everything. They've raked the wings, aerodynamics, everything. So it goes farther. It go, it does it with less fuel. It costs less. The whole nine yards. It lasts longer. We're gonna get to the composites, everything in here in a second. Now, so uh, that means that this thing it, it's better for the environment. It's better for operating costs. The whole nine yards, so that hopefully lower operating cost means lower ticket prices. It's just better for everybody. Let's talk about range. When you're talking about the top of the line, the 787.9, okay, that thing right there can go up to 8,500 nautical miles. Now that's a long, long way, which is very, very cool. So I like that as well. I mean, so you're talking about extreme range here from what normally would be sort of a I don't want to say mid-sized jet, but I mean a you know a jet that a lot of airports uh, could, can handle. It's definitely a lot smaller than the, than the 747, for instance, and I believe it's even a little bit smaller than the 777. Don't quote me on that. I have to recheck that. But let's also talk about let's talk about two of the coolest things, and then let's talk about some passenger stuff. Two of the coolest things with this thing is the. Um, uh, yeah, the the composites. That this is what I like about this. The composites. They have used all kinds of advanced composites in this thing. They've used a little bit of aluminum, some titanium, either e even and some, other, but mostly composites with this thing. And that has made it stronger, more durable. They're also able to do two very important things here because the composites are stronger. The differential between the inside pressure, cabin pressure, and the outside atmosphere pressure that obviously is less as you go higher is able to be greater because the frame, the airframe can withstand it. What that means for you and me is if you're going on the plane, rather than a maximum cabin pressure of 8,000 feet. That's like being basically on a you know eight thousand foot mountain there thereabouts I believe. They can lower it to six thousand feet. That's a dramatic improvement, twenty five percent improvement, and that's going to be a lot more comfortable, a lot more oxygen, everything like that for people, particularly on those long range flights. Very important. And in addition, because the the, the composites they can have more humidity vis-a-vis -vis an aluminum airframe, so now you have more humidity, you have better cabin pressure, which means, you know, lower lower altitude, like, uh, that's a great thing. More comfort, long range, uh, everything like that. So that's very cool. The other thing is they have, a, 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 so they've incorporated new technology that reduces turbulence, anticipates it, the plane can sort of react to it, it uh, is a big, big improvement on there. So you're talking about a smoother ride. And then they've got all kinds of other cool things. LED lighting. They've got cool ergonomics. They've got bigger windows. All kinds of... This thing looks cool. They're calling it the Dreamliner. It, it sounds like it's really... Expect... It sounds really great. And I can't wait to check it out and test it out and see what's going on. Expect this thing to be around uh, delivered sometime in the third quarter of uh, 2011 this year. I want to know what you think about it. 
You tell me what you think. Are you excited about this? If you're a big time traveler, will you check it out? You tell me what's up. Comments below, subscribe up. I'm John D. Valero, and you're watching Conservative Media.